Hey, beautiful family. Are we are we good? Can you hear us? Give me the thumbs up. Okay, awesome. We, the the um, laptop's down there and the camera's there, so okay, <laughs> I'm, my eye, yeah. I'm so sorry. The link we had trouble with the link and not getting onto our own Zoom. We're in a whole different room to you guys, but here we are. Better late than never. It's yeah. just not late at all. It's only just seven. Just on seven. Okay. Who's excited for Kikau? You excited? Let me look down at the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I will get my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> she put them away. I said she's going to lose. Come on, let's Can't be real. Can't see anything. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello, my loves. So for those that don't know, this is my Bello Fratello, my brother, my soul brother, John Croft. <laughs> and he wrote my, can you grab that for me? My most favourite oh, cacao sure. book on the planet called The Cacao Addict. Who knows this book and who has this book? There we go. We can see it. We have it available now. in UK, Europe. It, but... Look. USA, it's available everywhere. Elizabeth's holding it up. Look at you holding it up. I love you, Elizabeth. Good <laughs> awesome, job. Thanks. So what I thought, ah, everyone's holding. Great. Yeah. So what I thought we'd do tonight is have fun. Are you up for having some fun with Kikau? And for those of you who are not on camera, please get on camera. I want to see your beautiful faces. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to show you some things before they start melting in a moment. But let me give you the layout of today. Moment. So Perfect. John and I are super passionate about cacao. We're going to tell you about her medicine. We're going to speak to that. We will show you at the end of this a little um, how to make a beautiful cacao elixir and how to just enter into sacred ceremony with that cacao elixir and just bring a little dollop of ritual and deep peace as you return to joy and love with cacao. Yeah. So that'll be, that'll be at the end, the cacao elixir. And we'll start with a slice. This is a triple layer mouthgasm. It's divine. You've had some before. But like, yes, I, I, I still got it swimming in my mouth. So it's on page 39 of the cacao addict book. And it's called the triple layer ginger and lime caramel slice. And then we're going to show you raw chocolate. And from that raw chocolate, you will be able to do so many things. You can make chocolate fondue from it. You can do chocolate molds. You can make Easter eggs if you celebrate Easter. You can just make beautiful, yummy, succulent chocolate. And we're going to show you some variations. Absolutely. So is that sounding good so far? I'm looking over at you all. Are we smiling? Yay. <laughs> all right. So in... In John's book, what I love about it is if you follow the recipes, you'll actually get what is showing on the images. True story. Unlike me, how I teach cacao, which is um, John came to my first ever cacao class. People are like, how much is that? And I'm like, ah, oh, this much. Yeah. You know, who's <laughs> seen me do a cooking class before? I know you'll love it, but, you know. That was like nine years ago. A bit of this, realized. a bit of that. Yes. Yeah, so nine years ago. A decade ago. Wow. So what I wanted to show you was, because um, I'm all about value on these Zooms as we get together and connecting with you, is John has a recipe in there. What is that called? This yummy caramelised goodness. Oh, uh, yeah, um, ginger, ginger, ginger cups. cups. He has the, who has, can you see those, my darlings? Yeah, I I'll get Paul to, yeah, show you right up against the camera. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you see those now, my loves? Hold it up. That's it. Good. Can you see that? Okay. So this is a guaranteed heartgasm. I'll tell you why. <laughs> you have this nuttiness that makes your mouth just dance with delight. Your taste buds will be going to pop, 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 all over the place as you crunch into it. I've just put them in non-toxic, these cute little silicon cups, and you can use just Patty, Patty tins, tins. Yeah, yeah. and and then it leaves all this rimming around it. And there's the chocolate at the bottom. I'll get Paul to hold it up in a second for you. And then these are the caramelized nuts. And I wanted to show you this because I thought it's so perfect. Oh, okay. There you go. So how do I show it there? No, you're no. Paul, just maybe show see. this up at the camera. Um, so what I wanted to show you. I get so excited. I go all over the place. There will be cohesion in a minute once I stop talking. But <laughs> I don't want to be any cohesion when I start talking. What I wanted to show you was this. <laughs> You've got this texture up there that's nice and crunchy, which I love. I'm a crunchy kind of gal, and I love bits and bobs on the top and all that colour. And then you've got the chocolate base at the bottom. And then what I did was I had leftover of the nuts. So if you just pass me that round mould. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I took these little round molds, they're very shallow base, and I put the leftovers of my caramelised nuts, I made extra, and then I poured chocolate, which we're going to show you. And look what it made. Paul, you're going to have to show them this for sure. And then with the chocolate, yeah, and then with the chocolate, I, I'll show you the chocolate later, but just take a look if you show them. I thought things. I was off camera for my good looks, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see that? Yeah. Can you see I've got some smooth, which is Oops. just the chocolate, yeah, really and I'll show you what nuts. I did. Good. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is the nuts, the leftover nuts from this dish with chocolate poured over it. So instead of you buying, the, you know, those, those nut clusters, chocolate nut clusters, instead of you buying it, you now know how to make it, which is super exciting, Thank super you. empowering. You may need to pop that in the fridge, beloved, and this as well. Okay, is that feeling good? Was that a nice introduction, crazy intro? Yeah, like, well, no, I can't so eat any of it. In the Northern <laughs> Hemisphere, we have the spring equinox that's just opened up the hearts of everyone. And here in the Southern Hemisphere, we have the autumn equinox, which has had us feel like we're just totally blissed out. We've still got some shiny days, we've had a little bit of rain, and we just feel the embrace of the great mother around us. So we've what we want to do recipes and essential oils that will sing into your heart use the essential oil melodies that suit you and where you're at so you might want to go some citrusy and florals for spring and some spices and citruses for here um, for autumn yeah so you can play around with it all right jc all right I'm pardon yeah, ah. she's watching lots of times. Hi. Pop up. <laughs> so, hey, everybody. It's um, a real pleasure to be here tonight with you. Thank you for the invite. Such a pleasure. Um, as you might have gathered, I, I do love creating cacao, and cacao has been a staple in, in our house probably uh, since that very first class I did with Vanessa all those years ago. Yes. Nine years ago. So I really was inspired to teach these classes every week and it just sort of grew from there and the superfood connection came, then the doTERRA food grade oils connection came and it was this like playing around with all these different recipes and these different uh, combinations to me was a bit like um, medicine food. Yeah. So I, I began to, you know, work on things that were great for the gut and then work on things that were great for sleeping, work on recipes that were good for all over body health, you know, boosting um, immune systems, boosting um, antioxidant components. So once I started to play around with more superfoods, I had cacao at the base, played around with this whole bunch of new superfoods, weird and wonderful things from South America, all around the world. Then doTERRA came along and I played around with lots of different food grade oils. It was this uh, match made in heaven where I could just come up with these multitude of recipes. And since then, I created a book, which I'm very proud of, nearly two years ago, and tonight I'm going to demonstrate a few recipes from that. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how really easy it is to, although it will be a little noisy because we have a Thermomix, but yeah. I believe it cuts out the sound. We're going to show so. you double boiler method for chocolate as well, so if you don't have a Thermomix, yes. it's fine. But basically that. like a, you know, any kind of food processor, or you can chop by hand, it's totally okay as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll just be a slightly different texture, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I always say in my classes too, you don't need a Thermomix, but if you have like a really fast food processor, it will do the job. So they did see the finished product, didn't they? Okay. Can we, can we show them that? This is the finished product for the slice. I can reach for Let me go over, I'll take oh, okay. it. I don't trust you, you're going to take a big bite out of that. So. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> so... So this is probably one of my most requested ones that I have at classes. People say, make the triple layer, please, because it's just so hearty and so warming and so lovely. Um, the, the recipe that I use for this one is ginger and lime, but like what Vanessa said, you know, for you guys perhaps watching in the UK or Europe, you can switch that up for something like, you know, peppermint and citrus is really nice to get a spearmint and citrus, citrus and citrus, whatever you want to do. So this one tonight, I'm demonstrating ginger with the lime. But the simplicity of my recipes, what I love to share is that it really is just chuck them all in. Although this one is a three layer one, you just do it in sections and little by little, it comes together as, as a triple layer. So I'm just going to chuck all the things I've got pre-made here. So a little tip on these are medjool dates. I've obviously got these pitted before. What I tell people in my classes is to always check every single date because sometimes you can get some sort of mold that grows inside like a black sooty mold. 
and you really don't want that in your body at all. So just check every single date when you peel it because um, we check for a pip because sometimes there can be one of those nasty um, little sooty molds in there and you, you just don't want that in there. I've got some activated almonds which have been soaked in spring water for a couple of hours. I have got, I'm checking my recipe here. Right. Here's some cacao powder, that beautiful cacao. Now, tips on sourcing cacao is organic. I love anything from South America, so if it's, you know, Peruvian or Mexican, anything in that region, it, I believe, has got the best cacao in the whole world. I've tried Australian cacao, I've tried Balinese, I've tried African. There's just something about the, the magic that's in South America that makes the best cacao. It's like the, the height of the, um, you know, the mountains, it's the, it's the soil, it's the rainfall, it's just the beauty of that, that country that produces the best, in my opinion. So I love it. So we're gonna put in three tablespoons of cacao powder. Popping that in, one. Too. And look, if you like it really, really, really chocolatey, you can add in a little bit extra. It's not going to matter. It just will result in a different texture in the way that it's finished. So, you know, if you don't put too, too much in, probably no more than five tablespoons because it will dry out the base. But if you're a major cacao addict like me, go for it. Um, coconut oil. Some tips on sourcing coconut oil is about, you know, organic, first pressed, um, I love to support this company. This is Nui Life, but you know, there's lots of companies that are on the market, isn't there? Yeah, there are heaps. Um, and know, glass is nice. It's yeah, nice glass in a glass good. vessel. Mm. I might listen to this so I don't dirty my spoon. I'm going to be putting in also two tablespoons of coconut oil here. And I'm not going to tap on the Thermomix bowl, Steph. I know you're watching. <laughs> Do you want this to scrape? No, it's all good. I, know, I can use that for the next dip. Right, so we've got that. Now we've got some beautiful. These guys have provided the honey tonight. This honey is incredible from Paul and Vanessa's um, little private Idaho down south. We have our own Tell happy, beautiful bees. We're so excited. And they're producing this amazing honey. It's like a mix of wildflowers and carry. And anyone local to Perth, Western Australia, come and get some. Oh, yeah. Seriously, this stuff is the bomb. It's so good. So I'm just going to put in two tablespoons. If you're vegan and you don't eat honey, you can swap this out for maple syrup. Or vegan honey, which is a mix. Or, or you can use um, coconut nectar syrup. And the vegan honey is a mix of coconut nectar syrup. Yeah, indeed. So the question stuff. here from the audience, do the activated almonds need to be still moist or can they be dry and then do you have to soak them? Yeah, so to activate almonds, first you soak them and then you're going to take out the water, like get them totally drained off the water. You probably need to rinse them a few times if you're not using organic because of the tannins, but better to use organic almonds. And then you'll put them on dehydration trays with a sprinkling of salt and then dehydrate them overnight. And then you're going to use them dry like this. So where's that jar? I don't it's know, but it's dry, 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 not wet. Mm, yeah. Yep. Now the recipe actually calls for um, protein powder, but we're actually out yeah. of it. So yeah. hemp protein powder. So we're actually going to use some beautiful reishi mushroom, which is incredible for relaxing. It goes beautiful cacao, and um, the Chinese. It, it's an adaptogenic herb. So the Chinese refer to this as the immortal mushroom because yeah. it's just so good. So Ganoderma, it, it's called the Ganoderma mushroom. And it's just a beautiful overall tonic for your body, mind and spirit. Ooh, so yeah. beautiful to teaspoon. slow down, teaspoon of reishi, yep. beautiful to slow down the mind, overactive mind. We're actually using um, Super Feast is the brand and I, I highly recommend them. Really John also them. has one you'll see on his Insta at Shanti Star. Um, a liquid form, but Com. for this one we want, pardon? At shantystar.com. Com. Yep. So um, we'll put all the links later. But Super Feast is beautiful and they'll ship all over the world. Mm. I just, I really love I them. Love I them love too. I love how ethical they are. You'll hear us talking about sustainability and ethical and the types of cacao we love. And Absolutely. it's the same for our medicinal shrooms. Yep. And last but not least for the base layer, we're putting in some ginger. And like I said, you can swap this up for anything that takes your fancy, your taste buds. But ginger is warming and beautiful for this time of year. 
five drops of water to the me. So ginger is amazing for your digestion as right. well. So warming yes. the body from the inside out, great for just that overall super, um, you know, super feeling inside, like you're feeling like you're strengthened and empowered. Metaphysically, it's great for empowerment and it's bringing in that beautiful golden ray of abundance. I'll just Absolutely. let him do this yeah, and then I'll ready? keep here, talking. Here comes a loud bit. Pocky in. <laughs> We're going to go to speed. That will probably do it, I would say. So that was 34 seconds on speed eight in the Theramine. Okay, the so I was going to say about ginger, it's a rhizome like turmeric. Mm -hmm. So this gives us a real anchoring feeling. So that for those of you that feel a little bit discombobulated by life, a little bit like you're adrift, this is like going out on a boat and just mm -hmm. setting anchor and it connects you, it gives you something to come back to. On the surface, you can kind of drift, drift away, but you'll always come back to that point. Yeah, so, see, so now we have a nose gather. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yummy. So what, what we're going to do is, I've got a little dish over here. So for Team Alchemy watching this live, that's what that looks oh, yeah, like. Do both, yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> I don't know where to look. I feel like a movie star. So <laughs> you are, I've got a little <laughs> I've got a little dish here. This is just like a, um, a tin with lined with um, the grease proof paper. But I use like at home, I traditionally use like a tougher form, like a Tupperware one that's yeah. good, good silicon. And ideally you'd want one a little bit, uh, like yeah, you can use one less deep, but this is what I have. So this, all right. Technical issues. Technical issues. If we still got you, you guys are so <laughs> loyal, waiting for us. Thank I'm you. They're waiting for the end result. Oh my gosh. Cool. Okay. So what I've done is I've just used my spatula and I've just flattened that down. Okay, my loves. That's your beautiful base layer. And we'll get on with the second layer. John, that's sitting in the fridge or it's fine like that? That's fine like that. You don't okay. need to refrigerate this between the layers. I mean, you can if you wish, but it's all going to come together in the end, so it's going to be fine. Perfect. So, the so middle, now we're doing layer two. The middle layer is so beautiful because I'm using walnuts with it. So the base layer had the almonds, but the middle layer has got the, um, the walnuts. But with tahini, as we know, which is crushed up sesame seeds, it just gives it that really creamy, beautiful flavour and texture as well. But there's a little trick with this one. If you haven't made this before, don't over mix it because there's um, there's oils in the walnuts and there's also quite a bit of oil in coconut oil, obviously, because it is coconut oil, but also tahini is quite oily too. And if you over mix it, it tends to go and separate. Yeah. So it's really, when I say here, put it on for, um, you know, 30, no more than 30 seconds because you've got to get the dates doing their thing. Believe me, it, I've had it separate and it's not fun. So this one, we've got 14 medjool dates. First layer had seven, so this is the double, which makes it extra creamy and lovely. Yes. So chucking the those. So the medjool dates are really moist and succulent. That's why we use those rather than the other dates you can find. And we, yeah. we get organic everything, but I love you just them. get what you can. I much prefer that. I need the half cup medjool, please. Yes. Lovely. There you go. Thank you. And I can just reuse that. That's from yeah, the Or a full of spatula. Ah, that's good. So this is, yes, it's a half a cup of coconut oil. It may seem like it's a lot, but remember, coconut oil is actually one of the most incredible, incredible foods you can, that you can ingest and put on your skin. Um, I used to see this one in classes. She'd rub it on her arms after she'd finished wiping, wiping out the dishes. You're like, and it's good as a moisturiser. And yeah, it is. absolutely. It is. It's for the hair treatments. It's, Freaking beautiful. Um, it's a saturated fat. If you're, if you're interested in looking at fat, there's a great book called Eat Fat to Lose Fat by Mary Eni and E N I G. And she's a lipid scientist, basically, means a fat scientist. And she researches um, the different fats, and coconut gets a great rap. Yeah, it certainly does. 
you actually yeah. cannot store coconut fat on you. It's, it's impossible. Yeah. So it's actually quite slim, which is good. Okay, we've got the walnuts. We only got a quarter of a cup to chuck in there. Here's the tahini, which is one of my faves. Like I said, three tablespoons of this puppy. Yeah. I'm going through all your tablespoons. That's you fine. Nothing more. Actually, no. Wait a moment. While my while my tablespoons dry, I'm going to put maca in instead. Oh, yeah, good. Tell them it. about maca. Who I knows about maca? maca. <gasps> Yummy. Yes, we love maca. I love the smell of maca. Do you know if you can make tahini in your thermi? Yes, you can. Yes, we. I must. have Stacy here who sells thermomixes, and she can respond in the chat. Stace, yeah, do you want to do, do you want to give them some some information about making your own tahini with sesame seeds in the thermomix? There you go. Take a spoon of that. So maca is actually from the radish root family or from the radish family and it's a root of radish. Um, again, it's another wonder from South America. It's incredible for libido raising. It's incredible for um, hormone, regulation. hormone regulation for men and for women. Yeah. It's beautiful for like a muscle relaxant. It's a blood sugar mm -hmm. regulator. It's incredible. So get maca into like your, um, you can put it in juices, you can put it in cakes, you can put it in chocolate. I put it in pretty much every chocolate batch that I make. I only I use it for it. raw work. Do you mean raw cakes or cooked cakes? No, I'm raw. Yeah, yeah, raw. yeah raw. Love it. So here comes yes. the tahini. We're going to put three tablespoons of this puppy in. Paul's naughty. We've got our husbands over there, Paul and Noel, and they're both big smiles when we said grateful libido. Oh, they, cheeky. They just helped with the restoration of the, <laughs> the internet. Maybe the maybe the internet needed some maca because it was uh -huh. dying, went down. Two. Okay, so we're going three tablespoons of tahini. So basically, coffee. we want to create like a real caramelly texture. And there's a few different things you can do for that and a caramelly taste. But what we found is the combination of maca right. with tahini is phenomenal if you want that real fudgy, caramelly type texture and taste. Yeah, it's so good. So certified organic. Woolies actually stock this, a hulled tahini. You can get unhulled or hulled. Just means the hulled... Um, Got the skin taken off all the outside shell. My Europeans and UK say? family aren't going to know what Woolies is. A local uh, store that yes. sells, <laughs> that will sell organic. The supermarket, that stocks, uh, super, that stocks supermarket goods. You need. Thank you, love. Um, vanilla is one of my key, key ingredients in pretty much most of my recipes, as yeah. is yours. I'm Me putting too. a teaspoon of this in. So vanilla is actually another. another superfood. There are hundreds of species of orchids, and there's only one that actually gives us the vanilla bean, which is quite right. outstanding. Isn't and if incredible? you look at the orchid, they're very, very sensual, very sexual, and vanilla does that as well. You know, it mm. connects us with our sensuality, as does cacao. Cacao beautiful. is like about our sumptuousness, mm. and vanilla has this real delicious aroma that just opens the heart and you opens ourselves it. to receive more love. So this is a beautiful combination in there. Do you remember there was a vanilla shortage a couple of years back? Yes, it we was terribly like, sad. We like, no, no, it wasn't no. great. And vanilla and cinnamon are what we call false sweeteners. They go in the false sweetener family. So you could also put some cinnamon powder in here, ground cinnamon. And um, cinnamon's great for those that have like an abundance of sugar cravings yes. or want to work with blood sugar levels. So you can add cinnamon powder in there. The vanilla will lend its sweetness to it. So you don't need that much sweetness. And Marka does as well. What I, did you do with I honey? I just put some honey in. So I put two tablespoons of honey in this as well in the base. So it's got honey as we've done. Sorry, this is the center. Honey yeah. in the in the base. This is now the um, honey in the middle as well. Uh -huh. And the last ingredient is good old lime because ginger and lime is a, oh, a they match are made in heaven. Heaven. Yeah. So I'm putting 10 drops of lime into this one. So the citruses you tend to use more than like your spices as far as drops go. And remember that this gives us how many slices would you say, oh, John? Gosh, it's huge. It turns out about so big. So I would say 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35 or 40. About 35 slices. or 40 slices. Easily. So 10 drops of, you know, lime and one or two of ginger, you're not yep. really getting that much. But remember, we're binding the essential oils to a fat, the coconut oil. But if you didn't have coconut oil, you could bind it to the honey, and that would be really good. So we're giving it a really safe vessel for it to enter our sacred vessel, our body. And something I always say to people too, whenever you are using oils in food, is to, you know, obviously watch what you're doing. Don't look away. Um, because if you slip with a, with a bit of a citrus, that doesn't matter. But if you slip with something like clove or yeah. ginger or cardamom, believe me, the recipe is like, it's hard, it's hard to get back. So yeah. just always look what you're doing. Don't, don't look away. 
All right, just checking that's everything I have in there. We're going to put this on for speed seven for about 30 seconds. So we'll just dance over here yeah, while we're that just does thing. Everybody dancing all excited about this? Remember, don't let kids at home do that. So, Team Alchemy, for those watching live, the tahini recipe is um, 200 grams sesame seeds, 50 grams grapeseed oil, one pinch of sea salt or Himalayan salt, and then you're going to process that in your food processor and you will get homemade tahini. Oh, so this, I know that I'm telling them. This is it. So, I'll show you guys here. That's the caramel hazelnut, not hazelnut, um, walnut layer in the middle. And you can see that there as well. It's quite dribbly, so I probably don't want to move it too far off. Thank you. <laughs> Can you see that okay, darlings? Oh, yeah. Mm. It's actually dripping, so yes. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, darling. All right, so we chuck this into the base now. We pour it out onto the base because it's all about the base. You haven't done that for a while. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so There's a whole generation that doesn't know about that. So while, while Vanessa's getting, yeah, that's has to come. You will, when you're putting this out, you will notice a bit of oil. It looks like oil, but it's really just the tahini, the chopped dates, See the coconut milkiness? oil, all this stuff comes out. But it will set all together beautifully. So you, you'll see in the end, I'll just it all comes together. Pour it in. Okay, thank you. Beautiful. And I'll need a new Thermomix to do the, no, I'm going to demonstrate it in the, the no, boiler no. behind here. So I thought tonight I'd show you a different technique because not everyone has a Thermomix or a fancy gadget like this. The old school method of doing a, uh, a ganache or like making chocolate is to do it into a, like a glass bowl with a vein marine at the bottom. So a little saucepan, a little bit of water, just simmering, not boiling, just simmering, and your bowl on the top. So your glass bowl or your metal bowl, doesn't matter. But I thought I'd show you that way because it's it actually, you can see the magic happen in front of your eyes, which I sometimes prefer. So I've had a bowl going over here, it's really quite warm. Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do, yeah, that should melt pretty quick, is take the old trusty coconut oil again. It's just one quarter of a cup of the coconut oil. So let's just scoop that out. And I like doing this method too, because it, it sometimes you get a bit lazy with stuff with the Thermomix. I do love the machine, don't put me wrong. But sometimes it gets a bit, you get a bit detached from the, I don't know, the, the technique or seeing it become what it becomes. For me anyway, I, I prefer to see it and you'll see it too. And something that's really beautiful, which we're going to more when we do the sacred cacao, which is to really just come into your heart with the intention of what you're bringing to those that you love and to yourself. So I'm just quietly over here, just kind of fueling this with more love. So simply a little whisk here. It's literally, if you can see this, it's melted already. So I'm going to get rid of the saucepan. So and do you all understand what's happening there? Can you see? You That's now. the coconut water, uh, coconut oil. I mean, you can sip this whole thing in like a sink of hot water or a stainless steel bowl of hot water because you can melt this down and let it solidify as, as many times as you want. It takes seconds, doesn't it? Yeah. So really, once you've got, you have to have this in a liquefied state to do a ganache or a, a hard chocolate, which we'll get to in the end with the cacao butter. But this is just a ganache with coconut oil. So it's like something that, you know, you, your grandma probably would make with butter and icing sugar. We're doing it with maple syrup, coconut oil and cacao powder. It's the bomb. It's really do you good. want this to just sit like that or go in the fridge? You might have gone for you. They didn't do that today for me, but that'll still set. Maybe in the fridge for a while. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we're Thank just you. going to put these two layers in the fridge to set. So, I've yeah. got two cameras going here. Awesome. So if it does that, don't stress. Can you see it's quite yeah. running on the top? I didn't do that today and I did it. But she, this is the more powerful thing, so that's probably why. But it all tastes good in the wash. So a third of a cup of cacao, is that right? Yes. So really, once you've got your liquefied state of the, the coconut 
foil. You can just add all this stuff in together. It doesn't matter. As long as you whisk it and get it all together, it's all just going to come into a beautiful batter on the end. So fine maple syrup come to me. One quarter of a cup of maple, which is pretty much my standard chocolate recipe, which we'll learn about in a little while. It's just so simple. I actually thought it would be difficult, but it's not. It's very simple. Yeah, it's not difficult. I know it's just the cutest little. Oh no, my cutest special. Stop using that. I know you want to use it. I like all my cute kitchen things. That is really quite cute. Now, salt makes chocolate pop. So, we're using some beautiful pink salt here. Quite a good pinch. It just really brings out the flavor of chocolate. Quite yeah, don't be afraid to put salt in your chocolate. It's oh, so beautiful. So good. And the minerals in, in you need to use good quality salt. No Saxa or table salt, oh, God, you guys. No. It needs to be a really good Himalayan Absolutely salt not. or a good Kelsey salt. Now, that's it. Yeah. Because it's got, I mean, this is quite a. So, cacao, uh, an in depth coconut recipe. oil, and maple syrup. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. And a bit of salt. And, you know, traditionally, if I was doing a different recipe, I would probably put in a, a different oil in this, like I'd put in, you know, peppermint or something. But because we've got a ginger in the line oh. in the base in the middle, I'm not going to do another oil on the top. It's sort of a bit, you know, overkill, basically. So, look. But you could if that, you want it. That is it. That's how quick it takes to make a ganache. Like, look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. Baby, now, can we have the. I call this. Nice and magic. So if you've got some ice cream for an ice cream eater and you don't want to eat ice okay. magic, which is just foul, you can put this on top of ice cream and it sets like hard um hard chocolate. So it's really good without the nasties like nice magic or ice yes, magic is got. That's right. Yeah. Just this thing. Is the cacao you're using for this recipe ceremonial or normal? Okay, let us tell normal. you something. This is this is just the cacao powder. So ceremonial cacao is you're gonna see it in a in a moment. It's cacao mat. Um, 10 years ago when I started on this journey, I was using what they call cacao liquor. And the cacao liquor is what they call today ceremonial cacao. And it means it has the uh, cacao powder, the cacao butter, so the cacao fats with the cacao powder all together in one. And that gets gently melted down. It's very bitter. It's great for the blood. It's great for the heart. Um, and and then you add a liquid to it. So you can add just a really good purified water to it, or you can add a milk to it. We're going to show you that in a minute. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean cow's milk. Cow's milk is just full of pus and blood. It's disgusting. If you've ever yeah. been to one of my classes, you'll know that the cows are so badly treated and over milked that they end up with sores. They end up bleeding into those into the milk. There's lots of pus that goes in there. It's revolting. Yeah, so really if any of you want to have a discussion about the dairy industry, you can come and chat to me. And really, when you combine any dairy with cacao, it really deadens the effects of cacao. Too. Yeah, you're, killing, you're totally killing the vibration. It kills the buzz, totally. Yeah. So this is a little okay. bit more liquefied, but, you know, it'll all set. So we can just pop this in the fridge. So we've just put, we can't show you now, it's just all too wet, but too we've wet. just put the cacao on the top, yeah? And it's that slice we showed you earlier. Do you want to pull that out of the fridge again, babe? And I'll show set. them. Are you going to put the nuts on the top? Oh, yeah, thank you. And now what we do <laughs> is John's just done roughly chopped nuts. Noel, I'll come and show them, honey. I'll show you guys this. Some walnuts. Just roughly chopped walnuts, and then we'll show you all. <laughs> In that fridge there, there's <laughs> this so slice here. Give the camera. <laughs> so a little bit higher, little Noel. Higher. There yeah, that's it. Can you all see that? It's just chopped up walnuts. Yeah. This gives it a nice texture. And then we're going to sprinkle that on top. And something I love to do, if you want to, is I'll mix some salt in here, a little bit of Himalayan salt, mm. and sprinkle the salt and the nuts on top. Beautiful. Thank do you. Do we want. And voila, you set it in the fridge. Yes, something I prepared earlier. No, you set it in the fridge, and then you end up with this beauty, you know, that we showed you earlier. I'm just going to show both cameras. So that's the triple layer mouthgasm. Yeah. Right there. And like I said before, it does take a little bit of time. I had all this stuff prepared because I made this today. So it, it can take a bit of time to prepare, but it is seriously worth it for so one. Worth it. But if you chunk it down into each layer, it's it's fine. But remember, don't overmix the middle bit like I think I did tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but it worked out fine for me today. But I don't have a a weird fancy um this, one. This is the new model. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very powerful. 
So cool. I hope that inspired you guys and we'll move on to the, the next Any one. Any questions before we move on? We've got two cameras going just in case something mm -hmm. pops up. Water. How are we going? So it says, that's my treat for the weekend sorted. Yummy. Fantastic, Gillian. Sure. Yeah, so, you know, what you're doing is sweetness is connecting us to the heavenly realms. Most of us desire sweetness to a greater or lesser extent. So this is doing that in a really healthy bioavailable form. You have ingredients, nuts that have been soaked and activated. That makes them bioavailable. It means our body can use and absorb these beautiful ingredients and the nuts to create what we need from them. Mm. Fuel, and life you, force. And you don't energy. want to be snacking on, you know, if you've got crappy stuff in the cupboards and stuff and you want to have a snack, Yeah, you're not... With this sort of stuff that you and I make, you're not eating copious amounts of it because yeah. you're quite satiated after about two bits. That's true. Two or three bits you need maximum. a lot less, mm -hmm. don't you? Because Focus. this is nutrient dense. So that's yeah. the second thing of what I want to cover. So when you're making recipes from John's book, um, from my upcoming cookbook, it'll, it'll come out when that comes out. Hello, yeah, for it's editing. Um, <laughs> you're looking at meals that actually sustain and nourish you, you guys. Yeah. So create nutrient-dense deliciousness for yourself and it will see you through. Food is medicine. All right. So right. let's move on to some chocolate. We have, let's just do this one in the Thermomix. Yep. Okay. So we've shown you how to make chocolate in the, the double boiler method. Now I want to just quickly do it in the Thermomix because um, then what I'll do is we'll just use the same bowl for ceremonial cacao, which I do all the time. All right. So all we need is some coconut Oil. Now yes. you're going to see yes, how I Vanessa, do it. The Vanessa measure. <laughs> are you going to use some cacao butter in this too, or are you just going to do it? Yourself? Um. Again, okay, we can. Let's do it with cacao. Yeah, cacao butter. So thing. there's a quarter, so, about a quarter of a cup. You know, I've been doing this a long time, you guys. But there's about a quarter of a cup of um coconut oil in there, and then let's weigh it. How much cacao butter do we want? Uh, that's about a cup, that's a full cup there. So, do you want to open it up and Yeah, sure. So, just the plain, the plain chop chop. Yep. Uh -huh. It's my very, very first recipe, number one. So, you guys, when you when you do this, when you do this, this is um a cup of cacao butter, so 120 grams, a quarter of a cup of coconut oil, so I have that, and then um. A cup of cacao and then a quarter of a cup of your chosen sweetener. In this case, we have maple syrup and then a pinch of salt. And then we can, then um, I'll show you the magic. So, am I using all of this or not? Yeah, Just check it out. It's, okay. it's almost a whole, a whole cup. So. Okay, perfect. That's so, fine. this is the um, cacao butter, just whatever country you're in, you can source it online. Yep. Same as what I said, if I could just interject here. Um, Please do. What I said about the powder before, the same goes with the butter. So basically when they process, well not really process, slightly process the cacao bean, the whole pod, they crack it open and those beautiful seeds are in there. They boil it and up comes cacao butter. So it's cocoa butter. It's, it's chocolate fat is basically what it is. Um, we, I always say and encourage people to buy, again, organic, Peruvian um, and sustainable. That's, I, I, they're my three rules for any time I buy cacao. Uh, we both have a wholesaler, but a lot of shops now have got the organic Everything section. It's, it's yeah. really, really easy to find. You can even find it online as well. Or better still, get it from Peru. Yeah. <laughs> so there's beautiful Peruvian cacao, Ecuadorian cacao, and there's now some really great cacao coming out of Guatemala that's off the scale, very high vibration, which is where I'm going to show you some beautiful ceremony of cacao. I've got some Peruvian and some Guatemalan cacao to show you, and you can just right. choose. Okay, so at this point, I'm just getting really intentional. You know, I'm just feeling into what am I devoted to in this offering of cacao? And so I have family coming this weekend. I'm devoting myself in the creation of this cacao to love, to joy, to bringing laughter out of the bellies of my family and loved ones. And as we create the ceremonial cacao, I'll share with you a, a little prayer. Maybe we'll do some chanting. Mm, um, Something I like to do as well with cacao is that, you know, we, we host ceremonies, and I myself do ceremonies usually each month with the yeah. ceremonial grade. Yes. But even when I'm making the beautiful, the cacao that we've shown you now, you know, the, the, um, the Peruvian stuff, it's not the ceremonial grade. 
I don't like to overheat it. I tend to like Vanessa put it on like what I put it on, heat 50. You have a 37, I think you've got a lower, haven't you? But 50 yeah. is the maximum that I put it on because coconut oil for one has got some really incredible antimicrobial benefits to it. It's alive. So is cacao butter, it's alive. If you high heat that, you start to destroy some of those properties. So I really like to keep it, keep it at a low heat and then that keeps that integrity um, intact and you're not, you're not killing it off. Just checking questions everywhere. Yes. Okay, so we've got about seven seconds left. Um, so to make raw chocolate, you don't have to have cacao butter if you don't have it. You can just use coconut oil. That's fine as well. And in our book, Gifts of the Essential Oils, which is cue, cue men to bring that to me. It's just on the dinner table. There are some recipes. There's actually a really beautiful recipe for a cacao elixir for a group because a lot of people were wanting to know what I do for sister circles. And sometimes ceremonial grade cacao. I mean, back in the day, back when I was doing this just a couple of years ago, it was so expensive, yes, right? Was. So I was to trying it. to do it affordable and difficult to get, but now it's so much easier yep. to get. And I've got um, chocolate recipe in there as well. That's really simple. Yep. So, so yeah. a lot of people are getting into the ceremonial cacao. And you're all my loyal followers, so you have my book. Tonight's about his book. <laughs> all right. So yes, <laughs> yeah, right. babies. All right. So this is, this is melted down. So now we're going to do a cup of um, cacao powder. Yep. So we want this to be nice and rich and succulent. We want our hearts to just go boom. So cacao works with the physical hearts and it works with the energetic hearts, opening our heart to greater love, to give of our love, which is, which is actually that whole return back to the sacred feminine. It's about giving and receiving of love, not just pouring love out, right? Not just the doing but receiving as well. So a whole cup's going in there. Mm. And then we're just gonna do a pinch of salt and our sweetener, we'll get some maple syrup. A quarter of a cup of that, I can help you with that. Thank you. Get yeah, really good quality A-grade maple syrup. Oh yeah, and look, don't be buying anything that says maple flavored, okay? Uh, because that is, <laughs> that's well, a whole bunch of chemicals right there, it's revolting. And there's also artificial sweeteners in, um, in that as well, it's dreadful. Where's your little scoopy? Here's my sweet little thing. Okay, you guys, so that's it. Now, I did have my rose out. Where did that go, babe? I don't know. It's gone. Okay, doesn't matter. Rose? I, yeah. put, it, I put it in my pocket. No, don't worry. She's here? No. no, no okay. I couldn't see you. So today, don't worry. I, I did rose chocolate in there. So what we're going to do today is red mandarin and another favourite of mine, cassia. So the barks work with guiding us to armour and to de-armour. When you feel like you've over-armoured and you feel like you're just over-protecting yourself, you're not letting love come in, the barks come in to just melt us a bit. Totally succulent for the current season we're in, both in the northern and southern hemisphere, because this warms us to love on the inside out. So I'm going to do one drop of cassia. And again, don't look away when you're putting cassia in. Yeah. She's, a, she's a strong one. She's beautiful, but she's strong. Yeah. And then I'm going to do red mandarin. So this is the real chrome mama energy. Mm -hmm. This is really beautiful mandarin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten drops of that and two drops of black pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you made chocolate with pink pepper before? Yes, I have. Mm. So I'm going to put, let me show you this other thing I love. Hang on, it's right here. So Superfix has the Mason's Mushroom Mix, which is a gut and immune tonic. And then they have Lion's Mane, which is for your nerves, protecting nerves, for brain. For memory, yeah, brain Memory, function. what else yes. am I missing? So that's Lion's Mane. And then this one, ladies, oh, ladies, I am Gaia. That's what it's called. This is amazing. I'm actually going to put in here I'm the I am Gaia blend. Could you hear him? He's gayer than me, he said. You are my love. <laughs> <laughs> and one teaspoon of I am Gaia is going in there. And this actually has a mix. I love the mixture in here. There's some Shavandra in here, Shavandra berry. Mm, that's because awesome. um, you're a dude and you don't need it. No. So we have angelica root, asparagus root, 
prepared Romania root, poria mushroom, white peony, shizandra berry, goji berry, and jujube, jujube fruit. Oh, wow. I mean, that's, I that's, just, that's just fantastic. Beautiful. So that's going in there, that beautiful tonic. The lid's going on, and I'm just gently going to mix in here. Yeah. A little rule about chocolate too while she's mixing that is that the longer that you mix it, there's some chocolatiers in Switzerland and England and all for Europe that will mix chocolates for a couple of days to get it so smooth. So you know, don't if you want a really smooth batch, the, the longer the longer you mix it, the better it is. But the Remember key the is heat. low speed. Yeah, low speed. Low speed. <laughs> low speed. And we're not heating right now, no. you guys. There's zero no, heat. I'm just at speed two on the thermi. Um, and I'm just letting that gather together. If you crank it up in impatience, it's going to split. Yes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many messages I get saying, why did my fudge split? Uh, what speed did you have it on? Yes. You know, yeah. So. We always say, we joke around saying it's science. Like, you know, when you're doing this stuff, it's like too much of this or too little of that or too fast or too slow. It's, it's, it's a science experiment. Exactly. So you can pour it into molds like this. These are little love heart molds. Um, I've got my Easter molds ready as well. Mm. Yeah, you could use something simple, just like spearmint or peppermint or wild orange. Like you don't have to get fancy. I just love these combinations. Mm. Okay, and that is well mixed. That's Some, done. Sometimes what I do too, if I'm not making a mold of chocolate, I'll just get a tray with some greaseproof paper. And the larger the tray, the thinner the chocolate bark comes out, and it's really versatile because you can use this as a base, and then you can just sprinkle nuts on the top, or dried fruits, or you know, um, shredded coconut over the top. And it, when you crack it after it's set, it's very thin, small pieces of like you know shaved uh, shaved chocolate. It's really mm, nice. So one, of my, one of my favorites is to make a bark. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pour some in here actually i won't pour let's just get on to the elixir so, so just pour it into the molds yeah. yeah or you could pour this on a slab like on a tray a baking tray and yeah and you're done so, so should i pour that into a jar i'm, I'm going to pour into the this bowl. yeah here's a bowl i prepared in. Do you want, pass me this patch Maybe the bigger one. She loves that spatch. Oh, she doesn't one. love this spatch. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you need a bigger one. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, he's back with the chocolate. So they come out like. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Something she prepared earlier. Here's something I prepared earlier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, you know, just like lick it. So good. Okay. Let me show you. Uh, do you want to talk about ceremonial grade? Uh, about ceremonial yes, indeed. So when you talk about ceremonial grade, you are talking about you really, really have to respect the dosage. So this sort of stuff that we've shown you today is quite strong. But when you talk about ceremonial grade cacao, which is the whole chocolate intact, so the, the fats are still inside, everything is still inside. So there, there's a bit of a rule of thumb for people that are sharing a ceremony with people is that it's never really any more than 30 grams per person because it's very hard opening and it's very it, it just cracks you open and if you have too high a dose it can actually either give you the runs or it can make you feel very jittery or it can give you a pretty pounding headache um, and can really make you feel like whoa well, you know so respect ceremonial cacao if you do get some don't go yeah let's just make the whole packet because it's not not advised no. really it should be uh, as you're preparing it, this is something that I do whenever I'm, I, I'm preparing um, a ceremonial batch, is that the traditional custodians of the land, like the, um, the Aztec folk and the, um, the Mayans and the, the, the South American culture, they will sing to the cacao they will, as they're chopping it up and giving the blessings to the cacao because it's like a, it's a medicine food and it takes you on a journey. So it really opens the heart. It shows you messages. It gives you messages. It speaks to you. So when you go into a ceremony that's you know um, with music or with intention or with um, meditation or all of the all of the, the above, it can really give you into the set of, set you into that space of receivership. Um, when people of those cultures I was speaking about before, they use it all before ceremony. So they're in that space of receivership and really open up to, to receive. So it's very, very beautiful. 
Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do this as we would once I explain a couple of things to you. So milk is really important. You can make your own nuts or seed milk. Um, Nutty Bruce is an amazing brand of milk. I don't know if you have it overseas, my beautiful family overseas. Um, it's unsweetened and it's activated, made from activated nuts. Um, it's my favourite. Mm. Um, or you can get like an organic coconut unsweetened, showing both cameras. You can use the tinned organic coconuts, whatever you like, yeah? Now, this is what the, the cacao mass looks like, all of it together. Big block. Can you see that? It's just a big, and you can get it in really big slabs. Yes. This was sent to me as a gift, and it's beautiful. It's a Guatemalan. This is a Guatemalan. Wow, beautiful. Um, this one here is a beautiful Peruvian cacao. So the brand is Smile. And this is actually one of our doTERRA sisters, Alison Bortolo. Alison and her husband, Anthony, have made this together oh, with the um, Guatemalans. Uh, sorry, the Peruvians. And I'm opening it for the first time to share with you all. So, oh, wow. Smells amazing. Wow. So Looks beautiful. So camera over here and camera there. Can you see that, my loves? Really, really chunky. Yeah. So, but you can you can get it in you can get it in big slabs or like this. This is. Um, yeah, I buy mine chipped just for convenience. Yeah, I, I, I get both. Yeah. Like yeah. I, sometimes yeah. I love the process of cutting it. Yeah, me too. Me too and then I want to show you this. So. I've got to tell you, this is my favourite at the moment. This is my current favourite. Mm. And I just cry when I use this. I, I'm so filled with joy. The respect that this was made from. Um, I, I probably didn't give this enough credit. But both of them, so this is from Chloe and Jamie, the Sacred Elixir is the company, and Smile Cacao with Anthony and Alison. They've actually taken the time to connect with the people of the land the people who work with the medicine of cacao, which really makes my heart sing. It makes a big difference. So this is just, just to be clear, this is just the solid cacao mass, ceremonial, ceremonial grade cacao, okay? This here is ceremonial grade cacao. There's the instructions that it comes with. And they're individually wrapped like this, ready to go. Mm -hmm. So what happens is a lot of people ask us what we put in it. So we put like a little bit of medicinal mushrooms in, for instance, if we want to. Maybe we put a little bit of marker in. So some turmeric in mine. A little bit of turmeric. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. um, and, and sometimes it's like a touch of sweetener and some don't do any sweetener. So this one here has, it's the Guatemalan ceremonial cacao paste. Organic cacao butter, organic coconut sugar, organic maca, organic medicinal mushrooms of chaga, reishi, cordyceps, and lion's mane. And they are fantastic. So let me show you how exotic and amazing this looks. That's the branding stamped on it. Wow, a million cord. Yeah. So that's it there. And they ship all over the world, you guys. We'll, cool. yeah, we'll send out the link with you with this. Very cool. And it mm. smells amazing. It does smell amazing. Yeah. And there's a whole whole wow. thing on doing it. So you just put that in and 250 grams of liquid of choice. Now, what I really love that comes with this one is there's this saying thank you and there's the recipe and there's a beautiful prayer. Okay, so let's get this on and we'll go into okay. a little bit of a chant. And so I'm going to use this one for now because it has everything that we need. And I'm just going to add 250 grams of um, liquid. The sweetener? Oh, no. no. You've got it in there, haven't you? Yeah. So. And some coconut if you need that too. There we go. Now you can use water. Traditionally, um, when I'm going into ceremony, I'll use water. I'm just going to use uh, the nut milk for this one just to show you the ease and that you can do this. And you can, with the nut milk, if you want to, you can drink it every morning. You can have it once a week, whatever you like. You don't have to wait for the sacred circles to do this. Yeah, or with your brothers for the men on this. Yes, 
A lot of people are having zero manual cacao in place of coffee, like every day. Totally. And, and the dosage would probably be around 20 grams. Actually, what, what is the dose of that? The one um, that you're putting in now, does it say? Or? I think it's like 25 grams, the proper dose, yeah? So seven, seven plus 50 grams. Okay, so that's 50 grams. So that'll give it the well, two. That, that's enough for two, two people. Of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. enough for two people. Okay, love it. All right, so 55. All right, so let's go into, let's go into intention together, shall we? Okay, yeah. So we're not putting the essential oils in yet. You yeah. don't have to, but I'll put that in at the end normally. Okay, so um, if you want to close your heart, I mean, close, close your heart. heart. Don't do that. <laughs> Please, your arm. Um, we, we yeah, but you're all laughing. I took my glasses off. <laughs> There's a few giggles there. Close your eyes, not your heart. Yeah, close your eyes, not your heart. I'll leave my glasses on. But yeah, did you want to lead us? Do you want me to start yeah. with the prayer? Yeah. Okay. Go so this prayer that. comes with this cacao as well. Okay. This blessing. Okay, take a deep breath. We call the energy, love, and guidance from our ancestors, from Mother Earth, from our inner goddess or God to bless this cacao, that it may open our hearts, allow joy, bring deep, meaningful connection to those who gather in ceremony, and even more deeply to our inner selves. May it remind us of the beauty of life. May it raise the energy of our world. May it allow health for our ears, our hearts to open in love and to open fully to allow universal energy to bless each soul. May the sacred cacao bring a smile to the hearts, minds, and faces of all those who embrace this gift, this sacred gift of the earth. Beautiful. And I'll just lead you through a beautiful mantra, which is about from darkness into light. And this one is called Om Asatoma, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Choosing to be local. Yeah. Okay. Local Samasana, is that what you're doing? Yeah, local Samasana. Yeah. That's, that's darkness to light, isn't it? Or is it Asatoma? No, this is dark. Mm -hmm. No, that's not darkness to light. Yeah. That's darkness. Yes. Yeah, we'll do that one. Okay. Om Asathoma. So take a deep breath and just receive these tones that we are sending through to you. And if you know it, please sing along, although we can't hear you, but please do. Om Asathoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotri Gamaya Mrityorma Mritam Gamaya Om Masatoma Sat Gamaya Tamasoma Jati Gamaya Mrityorma Mritam Gamaya Om We open our hearts to the sacred medicine of cacao, to the medicine of the land, to the love of the Great Mother. We open our hearts in gratitude and in wonder to this sacred gift. So that's it in there. Can't really see. Let me put some. Mm -hmm. Let me put some in a cup for you, and then we'll show you. Yeah. Beautiful. And you know, just again, when you are dealing with ceremonial cacao, it is such a beautiful, absolutely beautiful journey to take, and just be really reverent around it, and just you know. Put your intentions in there and really be in your heart. Sing, sing mantras, you know, um, 
put on some, your essential oils in the diffuser, have some beautiful music playing, because it really, I feel that the cacao seriously has an energy of, of its own. It does. It really does. It really does. And your reverence and, and love is felt in it. And when you share that with people, they feel that as well. So yeah. that's been my experience. So you can just hold that to your heart space and call in the intentions and the blessings that you choose mm. and slowly mm. just sipping the cacao. So remember, if I was using this or the slab, I would have added some sweetener. Um, this one has it all in. Which is totally beautiful. Hmm. So sending you blessings and so much love. May you all feel the joy of cacao course through you. May she awaken you to the depth and breadth of your pure potentiality. May you dance among the stars with open hearts and shower your blessings, your love, and your joy upon the world. We love you. Thank you for joining us. It's been amazing. I hope that this brought you a lot of joy <laughs> and you're all more confident to just enter into sacred union with Kick Howe. Absolutely. Let me check. Do, um, do I mention question? That, um, I yes, that yes okay. definitely. I just want to read. Okay, so someone asked, if you're making it for two, could you save it for the next day? So I tend to drink it fresh each day, but I get what you mean okay. because that, that pod makes two. Yep. Um, but I tell you what, the pod itself in a cup like this, which is how I drink it when I'm drinking it at home in a beautiful cup like this. It, it's enough for one. So it'll be, it's two if you're doing it in this little cup, but otherwise it's mm. one in there, you know, so you won't even need to save it in the fridge, but you can if you yeah, want to. It if you want to will, start with it will save, absolutely. See, I, when we do ceremony, I make a, a rather large pot because I have about 24 people to, to give a drink to, so it makes a lot. Yeah. And I always make a little extra too because it keeps in the fridge, so it's more... Part is about you know three or four days we, we are still drinking it and just feeling blissed out. <laughs> it's saying is it. ceremonial cacao high in caffeine at all? No, actually I saw this the other day. Um, I think the cacao collective, which is our friends of ours who do them in Fremantle, uh, that I, I buy mine from, they had said I forget the actual percentage, but it's far 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 less than tea and coffee. Absolutely. So no. it it has a stimulating effect. Yes. But it's not caffeine, like caffeine makes you jittery. Whereas, you know, high doses of, of ceremonial, yes, will make you, but we're talking above 35, you don't want to go there. But, you know, 20, 25, 30, it's not going to make you jittery. Yeah. Like caffeine does. Two more questions here. One is, uh, how do you store your cacao butter? And the second one is, can you taste the mushroom from the chocolate? Oh, okay. They're good Fridge questions. and no. Yeah, we store our cacao butter <laughs> in the fridge. And no, you can't really taste the shrooms at all. If you did lots no. in there, you could. Yeah, but yeah. Um, not at the small doses we're doing. And something else I love, I forgot to mention in my ceremonial grade cacao, I love a little bit oh, of vanilla yeah. sometimes. Love the yeah. um, superfoods, I always keep them. Seeds, nuts, superfoods, powders, everything in the fridge because they oxidize very, very high in antioxidants, so they tend to oxidize. So you don't very want quickly. to waste your money, so keep them in the fridge. Yeah, you don't yep. want all those fats to go around to them, yes, right? Yes, absolutely, because they do quick. Was that recipe ceremony or more cooking? Which one? I'm not sure. It was a bit of both, actually. Oh, no, that's okay. We answered that one earlier um, about the chocolate. So we used just normal cacao powder for all our chocolates. Yep. Yeah. And then special ones we used the ceremony. Yeah. Like okay. Mm -hmm. So can you put the um, screen back on for us, baby? Thank you for helping us. Yeah. So if you don't have this amazing right. book, I highly recommend it from my heart to yours. It's been created with intention. It's absolutely beautiful to behold. The flower of life is their symbol and it imbues a lot of what they do. It's very high vibration. And we have a special deal for you, don't we? We sure do. So there's 50, um, 50 recipes in the book, a couple of smoothies and juices at the back as well. So for our people in UK and in Europe, we're doing free postage. And for people who are in Australia, free postage. We're going to put a link in, I think Noel's doing that right now. Yes. Um, so we're going to send tell you where to go to, to, to buy these books. So you've got the UK link there, we've got the Europe link, so you know, pounds and euro, and the Australian link as well. And if you're, if you're anywhere in the world that you're watching this, that they aren't um, available, you can also get my book on ebook version uh, through any format you can possibly think of that stock that stocks ebooks. Oh, and you know. for our American family, our USA. Thank you, I forgot. Um, 
and I don't know if it's in Canada, but Oil Life has it in Oil the Life. USA. Yep, they, they stock it. So please, yeah. please go to Oil Life yeah, if you're watching yeah. from um, Canada. Canada in actually Canada. does. I've, I've sent it. Great. To okay, them, so. perfect. Cool. So that's the Kikar Act, and everyone at Team Alchemy will, will link you with this as well. We hope you've loved this. Nolly, can you put the screen back on for us, the, the people's faces, so I can see their smiling faces? We've just got the chat up. Give me one second. So how are you all? We are finished now. But how are you all feeling? Did you enjoy this session? Yeah, we had just under 200 people booked from all over the world, all different time zones. So for those watching <laughs> the watching recording, replays. yeah, for those watching the recording, we love you, bless you. Um, you can follow John at, at, at on Instagram. His handle is at shantistar.com. No, uh, shantistar shantistar we'll yep. put that in the chat. No, do that. And I think you're all following me at, at, at Food Alchemy. Thank you for joining awesome. us. Thank you, everybody. We have more guys gifts coming to you, and I'll be doing more for you next next month. For those that, oh, well, it's now this month. For those that yeah. celebrate Easter um, and spring, just blessings to you and autumn, deep blessings to you. May you feel life. Paul, can you put it back on the screen for me? May you feel just life and her gifts coursing through you. May your heart just explode with wonder and joy again as you live the life you were born to live, joyously expanded and love-filled. That's what the world needs right now. We need all of us to return to that's love. That's right. Viva la cacao. Viva that's, la that, cacao. That's the, uh, that's the vehicle for it, right? So now does this make sense what I was saying, that chocolate recipe? You just pour on the nuts, on if you roasted nuts or you want to caramelize them, like out of his book, those ginger snap cup mm, things. Yes. And mm. delicious. Thank you. Can you have oh. a whole bite? We love you guys. Thank you to all the men and women joining us. Mm. Have a wonderful time with Kikau. Team Alchemy, we love you, darlings. Okay, bye, my honeys. See bye you, beautiful family. family. <laughs>